And yes, we can afford it, and yes, we can do it. All that's needed is the political will. So thank you all very much for coming out today. I look forward to the debate. It's a shame that the Conservatives haven't turned up, but it's obviously following the footsteps. He's obviously following the footsteps of, of the Prime Minister. He's been running scared of being held to account. But I know that the many people around this country will hold this government to account, uh, to account for all the pain and suffering that they've caused our people. And I hope we will see a change on December the 12th, and we will see a change and we'll kick this Tory government out of office. Uh, yes, hello, I'm William Relton. I'm uh, your candidate for the Green Party. Uh, this is my first time of running in a general election, and it's been a very interesting process. I don't have anything like Dawn's experience with the platform, so I haven't had a chance to engage with the citizens of Brenton quite so well I would have liked to have done. I did stand in the council elections in Wilson Green Ward last year, uh, when actually we did rather well, we came second to Labour. We beat both the Lib Dems and the Conservative Party, and we were very happy to get that result. Um, I, uh, I'm sure many of you have seen our manifesto. We have by far the strongest hand to play in terms of uh, climate change reform. Uh, this is one of the biggest issues that is facing us. Uh, we are planning, a, a, we have a far more wide ranging and more radical plan than any of the other three major parties. Uh, we're planning to spend over £100 billion. Pounds on reshaping our society and our environment so that we can do something about the catastrophe that is coming close, it's getting closer as each day goes past. We're also very much <coughs> a main party. Um, Brent Central generally voted to remain, so I'm on safe ground with that one. I've campaigned frequently outside Parliament. I've, as you can see from this, I've been supporting Steve Bray and his excellent work down there. It's absolutely Green Party policy that we democratically find a way of revoking Article 50. It has to go to a people's choice vote again. Um, and then we reform the EU from the inside. I'm also profoundly committed, as indeed the party, to electoral reform. Now, it's very unlikely that Dawn will speak positively of that, and the Conservative Party candidate, if you were here, also would not. Um, Mary, you look like you need me to stop, and the Democrats will also be supporting me on that one. I've got much more that I will talk to you about in a minute, but that's me for now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
Those are the two issues that I'd like to talk more about. Of course, there are many others. We have a very strong environmental policy. We have a very strong education policy, anti-austerity. I know it's going to be thrown in my face. You were in there with the conservatives. You are the authors of austerity. I know I'm going to get that. But, and let me just say this, but I joined the party in 2015, 2015. There were many things that were done after 2010 to try and stabilize the economy when there was a really bad recession. And many things I'll talk about, and I'm being told to wind up now, but I'll take, talk about that more when you ask me about what's there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.